we are right in front of the monument the sky has cleared clear as silver lining over there and here in front of the monument as i said 3000 people built this huge system 3000 people doesn't sounds too much for 2015 when they were no machinery so now we will see the monument the monument is here J. Waldo Smith, yeah, that should be the initiator of this whole project, I guess so, I'm just guessing, let's see what the monument will say, wow, uh -huh. now the trees are cut here in this area to be replanted with new trees, yeah, they, this is, this is how they, they look like, uh, like graves, of soldiers one two yeah three they are all over these trees but now let's see the man of vision yeah i knew it Oba. yep this is the man that built this thing man of vision and courage leader and counselor of men student of the human heart he inspired his associates and adorn his profession. The Catskills water system is his enduring monument. None knew thee but to love thee, nor named thee but to praise. Yeah, this is erected by his friends in 1936. And that is the guy J. Waldo Smith, what a monument, yeah. Uh, let's talk about some technicality. It's about 40 feet, 40 feet long, maybe, yeah, about, no, about 30 feet long by, by 30 feet deep. And it's about 50 feet high, made out of solid stone with a door, such as uh, like the pyramids in Egypt. City of New York, commissioners of the Board of Water Supply, cut skills adequate. And J. Edward Simmons, Charles Shaw, John Calvin, L.J. O'Reilly, James, and many, like one, yeah, like, uh, like 10 people are on this, on this Catskill adequate, ade aqueduct system, there are 10 people responsible, the board of directors of, of this thing, and in the front is their leader, and we are here, we are here in this, here it is, yeah, you can see now, let's see what's in the back of the stone, yep, it's another door, yeah, the four, the four walls are dedicated to different people, J. Waldo Smith here, chief engineer, and this is the engineers, consulting engineers, John Freeman, William Burp, Frederick Stern, Alfred Noble, and yeah, this wall, this back wall is dedicated to the engineers. And the birds. Yep, the sound of the birds. Now I want to see, wow, the sun is so bright all of a sudden. And the fourth wall, it's... This wall here is dedicated to Catskills water supply. This is for the mayors, for the mayors. William Mayor of 1910 to 1913, John F. Hyland. Yeah, this wall here is depending, 
and is dedicated to the administrator. And now I will go there because there is a strange bird doing strange sound. The bird. Is it a bird? Is it a bird? Now let's go investigate. Maybe it's just a falling tree. You know? Maybe it's a bird, yeah? What is the sound? Aha. Uh -huh. It's not a bird, is it? Aha. Uh -huh. I think it's a tree trying to fall and creating the sound maybe that is the tree is it a bird come on do the sound too close I'm not too close uh -huh. if it's a little wind that is the sound that's where the sound come from from this from this tree from this tree that is about to fall or maybe this tree but that's where the sound come from but now all of a sudden there's no no wind and no tension up oh, there you have it mm -hmm. Maybe it's a woodpecker. Who knows? Yes, it's a woodpecker. <laughs> where, where is it? It's too close for me not to see it. Where is the woodpecker? Obviously not a woodpecker, as that's what it is. <laughs> okay, there is a tree. That is the tree. And I will now produce the sound by myself, by my hand, yeah? That what was it. Not a woodpecker. Wow. The sun gets so bright right now. The colors are nice. We are back. We are back to explore the lakes. <laughs> and of course, that is the monument of the builders of this wonderful marvel of engineering.